So it's my Friday. I make plans this evening. So I let my DM know. Ask her for an early load. She gets me this load. Picking it up at like 4 o'clock in the morning. It delivers at 8. Amazing. Going to be done early. And instead, instead of that, now I get to wait until... Can you see that? That's my DOT bumper hooked in. So I get to wait until somebody gets here and releases it. All this wood right here, I was so mad when I realized I couldn't leave. I just started karate chopping boards until I just had this big pile of wood everywhere. Splinters pretty much. That's how hard I was karate chopping. But anyway, let's talk about it. So here's the employee parking lot. Totally nobody here to come unlock my trailer so that I can go to Austin this morning because that's where I'm going. I'm going to Austin. I'm supposed to pick this up like 4 or 4.30ish and then drive down to really north Austin and deliver it by 8. But nobody comes to work till 6, so that's, that's, that's probably not going to happen. But <laughs> luckily for the Billy Range channel, you guys love to watch bad things happen to me. So here's a bad thing happened to me. And here's a garbage can because this whole situation is fucking garbage. There's a bunch of trucks up there. Probably wait until 6 o'clock in the morning. This place, we're supposed to be able to pick up any time at night because they have a mailbox that they keep our bills in. And my bills were in there. Signed them. Went hooked to my trailer. <laughs> well, you guys seen the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Could this be my hero in his white stallion slowly driving, well, fastly driving away from me now, driving away from me? Could this be the man who saves my day and somehow gets my trailer released? We shall see. Almost caught up to him. It's been like the longest chase ever. I've chased him all the way down this, this whole line of trailers. I know he can either see or hear me, but he must be ignoring me or something this is like the slowest race ever so for note i finally caught up to the guy but for note i started chasing him all the way down there by those tail lights and it was the slowest race to the end of this run anyone's probably ever seen so what he told me was that hook on my dot bumper i just need to crawl under there and push it down so I guess we'll see if that works. I didn't know that's how that worked, but he said that's what he does. So that's what he does. That's what I'm going to do. So anyway, I got with the uh, day cab driver, and he said I should just be able to push this thing down. <clears throat> hey, he was right. Lesson learned. So when I left you guys, I just got my trailer unhooked from the unhooked from the little hook that keeps it locked into the dock and yes I'm coming to you from a portage on a because of all the places I could have filmed this I feel like this is where I would be suffering the most and B I feel like the audio is pretty good in here so that's why we're in the the shitter to make this last little bit so we didn't make it to our plans we had on Friday night we didn't make it to Austin. We had some maintenance issues, but you're going to have to wait until the next video to hear about those. That's going to about do it for this video, though. Appreciate you guys tuning in. If you wouldn't mind, subscribe to the video. Maybe give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you knew that you could just push those little hooks down. And that would get you out of a out of a dock. Because I didn't know. Four and a half years of driving. Guess that's why they call me a rookie. Anyway, guys. Appreciate y'all checking the video out. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.